Hi, welcome to MG Decode videos. Our today's topic is difference between object storage, file storage and block storage and which one to choose as per our requirement. So let's start first with block storage. Block storage breaks up data into blocks and then store those blocks with a unique identifier. Well, to understand it better, here I have an application which is trying to save a file. So uh, for saving this file, first this file will be broken into equal size chunks called blocks. And these blocks will further travel through an interface like FC or iSCSI. And there they will get a unique identifier which will specify on where or which location these blocks have to save themselves. And once um, you know the identifier is specified, the blocks will be able to saved. If you want to recall the file or you want to open up the file again, then all file system will do is will go back onto the unique uh, using the unique identifier will assimilate all the blocks and give the file back to you. So to understand block storage here, I have few points which are like interface that block storage uses are iSCSI or FC. Data is stored in equal size blocks. Works well with IO intensive application because we are directly dealing with blocks on the drive. So it becomes perfect for um, situations where you need a very high transactional databases or virtual volumes. Usually accessed as mounted drives no metadata and limited search capabilities. Uh, we'll talk more about metadata in in, in, when we talk about file storage and object storage, but here uh, we don't have detailed information or attributes about the files. That's why it says no metadata or limited search capabilities. It releases com uh, load from compute and spreads it across. So that's block storage. Let's talk about file storage. Here we use protocols like NFS, CIFS, SMB and data is stored in a hierarchical structure. Like in physical world we have cabinets, within cabinets we have folders and folders would have files within it or may have subfolders in it. Similarly the file storage kind of uses the same structure, hierarchical structure and store the data in the similar format. Files are stored in one location as one entity and not broken in blocks. Like we just saw that a file was broken into the blocks and the blocks were getting saved onto the drive. Here the file directly as a whole goes on the goes and saves uh, onto the drive, which would mean if I need to call back or recall my file, uh, I can specify certain attributes to the file attributes like who created it, when was it created, when was it last modified. So these kind of a thing uh, can be specified and th those attributes makes it very initial or the limited level of metadata in file storage. Files documents are shared as per authorization and authentication. We also specify that who all would be able to access those files, to which level they can access it and, uh, and to top it all is who all can be able to see those files or accessed via mount points, users, um, limited metadata with attributes like time, date, size and when file was accessed and created and etc. So here um, we had only limited metadata but if we go on to the next storage which is object storage here we'll have a comprehensive metadata we will we'll talk about it. Let's start with the definition first and then we'll see how it really works. Object storage. Object storage stores data as objects with metadata and global unique identifier. To understand it better, uh, that in block storage we created certain blocks first and then so save those blocks. In file storage we were saving the file as a whole. Here in object storage the entire object first gets stored and with that object there are globally unique identifiers are attached whenever you are saving the objects and with global unique identifier there is a metadata also gets attached. To understand it better, I have few files here that needs to be saved as object storage. So what it will do is it will attach metadata and unique ID to it. This metadata helps in search capability because it helps in indexing the file better. So access objects using URL while following object security using key values. High scalability, durability and flat structure and performance at scale. Strong multi-tenancy. 
in objects you just create one object for one user and another object for another user and you can specify there are policies that you can attach to it they can ro uh, roles you can specify to the uh, to those so that uh, you can spe specify and modify the security accordingly so it for it allows you multi tenancy low tco total cost of ownership you can quickly create a object and start saving your data in it generally three copies of data is maintained like in aws aws maintains three copies of the same uh, file if not specified otherwise objects uses detailed metadata as we just spoke about that there is a detailed metadata specified with objects and maintain version of the objects also the audit trail is possible if required so these are few add on feature that that are much more easy and uh, easier to start or configure also highly cost efficient and perfect for unstructured data storage protocols here that are used are http dns tcp ip object storage enables faster retrieval of data helping organization accelerate time to insight and it is accessible globally via any devices or iot sensors so that's object storage for you i have also mentioned some of the companies uh, that are offering object storage the leaders of object storage uh, these are just some of them there are many more that's all so today's topic was uh, to talk about different types of storage in terms of the block storage file storage and object storage how they store the data what is the basic difference between the three and to understand when we really need which kind of a storage is required if we understand the basic we'll be able to figure it in a better way so uh, please wait for my next video which will which will talk about uh, the aws storage what is your has to offer in terms of the storage and what what is the kind of a difference between the two we what kind of a block storage both companies are offering or google for for that matter all the three companies will will try and have a um, uh, uh, perspective in terms of the block storage file storage and the object storage well until then thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you